different mediums, but our next guest is helping people become walking works of art with his beautiful wearable photos. And joining me now to tell us more is artist Josh Miller. Thank you so much for talking with me. Absolutely. Thank you for having me today. I'm so happy to. Now, first of all, I'm dying to check all these out. Can you tell us what are wearable photos? So wearable photos are something that as I've envisioned it, it's really bringing the photo into your world to make temporary art installations every day. So you can, of course, like I'm wearing, wear it as a scarf. You can wear it crossbody. So I have on a comp an accompanying one underneath crossbody. You can do it as a cinched belt. You can wear it as a scarf all different ways, as a wrap. And so really thinking about how we bring art into our everyday life, whether we're on a Zoom, going out in the park, going on a date or to a gala, um, there's so many ways to be creative. And so wearable photos are a really exciting way to bring that into your life and try new things as you adventure and, and venture out uh, to see what, how you can expand the way that you present in the world. And these are so beautiful. What inspired this for you? Thank you. Thank you. I've been so, it's been so thrilling to see them in person. Um, I started, I started photography uh, growing up. My mom uh, did art and I started working in the dark room in high school. Um, but it was really over the past decade or so when I started combining my photography with my running. So I did uh, marathons, the Derby Festival Marathon, the Gay Games in Paris, um, and then throughout COVID, cycling and combining photography with those outdoor explorations, often in the morning, um, often along the waterfront and enjoy taking in the sunrise. And so as I was doing these long exposure or panoramic images, you know, I really just started to see all of the scenery as I was running or, or riding down the road in these as photos. And so um, I've collaborated a lot with Gunnar Dethridge, who used to be here in Louisville. And a few years ago, I had asked, um, could we get some of my photos printed and make some clothing out of them? And at that point, I didn't have a good outlet for doing that. Um, but some of the photos that are in this collection that I took uh, over the past few months during the pandemic, as soon as I saw them, I said, okay, I have to find a way to get these printed because they are what I think of in terms of wearable photos. And, and that's kind of what it's led to for today. And I love it because a lot of these photos, are they all from like Louisville in Southern Indiana? All six of these are Louisville in Southern Indiana. So um, being even on the East End Bridge, so bridging, the connections between the two states, uh, but thinking about what does the city look like from afar? What does it look like in motion? And also, how does that translate to the experience we've all been through over the past year? The um, shifting opportunity image, which is the one that really just kick-started getting these printed and, and out uh, so that people could wear them, is of the Louisville um, skyline, but it's in motion. And so thinking about as much as we have gone through and, and the struggles and challenges of this past year, there's also opportunity in that if people are courageous enough to, to step into that and to make change. And I kind of see that visualized and embodied in these different prints. I love it. And you mentioned that your mother is a photographer and, and you come from a family of artists, is that right? There are, my sister uh, does drawing and painting, my mom uh, does both photography, some photography, and then also painting as well. Uh, my siblings have done things from woodworking to other types of uh, visual art. So it's, it's met, you know, kind of interwoven throughout our upbringing, that appreciation and that creative outlet as a way to explore the world and connect with people. Yeah, I love it. It's interwoven in the fabric of your family. Yeah. <laughs> Are you the first one in your family to actually use like clothing as a medium? I am. I am the first one. So I'm, uh, I actually was texting with my siblings. We're all spread out. I'm the oldest of five. Uh, so I was texting with them last night and this morning to figure out which designs they wanted me to, to send them as a thank you, both just because I love them, but they all traveled to be in my wedding last year. And so uh, this is a great way to celebrate that participation and their love um, and share it with them. That is awesome. And just so you know, I'm the youngest of five. So we're on the opposite ends of no. that insane <laughs> lot of kids in the family spectrum. Yes. Right there. <laughs> and, and if people want to learn more about your wearable photos, where's the best place to go? So they can go to my website, 
joshmiller.ventures. Uh, there's a lookbook on the page. Just go to the wearable photos page. Uh, there's a lookbook featuring all different ways that you can incorporate these photos into your, into your life. Um, different people modeling them throughout the city, which was really fun to create. Um, and then, of course, the, the shop is on Shopify. Uh, but you can access it through my website and then join me on Instagram, join me on Facebook at Josh Miller Ventures uh, to ask questions, learn more. Um, there are wholesale uh, pricing available for retailers. And then there's also custom ways to do uh, prints for a visitor in um, tourism bureau or a conference or an event or corporation. So it's really exciting to think about all of the different ways that people can incorporate wearable photos into their lives. Fantastic, Josh. Thank you so much for talking with me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me.